Um, I want to mention, too, we didn't just get the economic data out here in the U.S. We got China GDP out overnight also, and that was the weakest in more than two years. It rose only four-tenths of one percent. We got, as you can see, retail sales and industrial um, production as well. And both of those numbers also came in um, a little bit worse than expected, or the overall picture is certainly worse than expected. And if you look at what... Um, China's economy did quarter over quarter, it actually shrank 2.6%. Of course, that 0.4% is the annual pace um, for Chinese economic growth. And, you know, the China for forecast for the full year economic growth, uh, most analysts and economists are saying, you know, they're not necessarily going to meet some of those forecasts. But there seems to be less concern about this number, perhaps, than there. A, we kind of knew about it. B, the economy has largely reopened as well. And even some of the shutdowns that are happening now are a little more targeted and limited. You do have to, I think, wonder what this means to policy over in China. Goldman Sachs' team out with an interesting little nugget in their take or assessment of this China GDP data. They say, quote, we maintain our view that fiscal and credit easing may play a more important role in coming months. That might be stimulative to the markets. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if it ends up being so at the end of the day.